Hey guys, um, I'm Jackie Simmons. I am a level three junior. Um, I'm an actor, and this is my design portfolio over like the three years that I've been here. Uh, this is my resume, um, and so on your resume you put your past work, um, technical or whether you're on stage or not. Um, you put training that you've had, especially from here I've had most of my training because I wasn't, you know, doing theater always. Um, you put your passions and why you started theater because they want to see that. They want to see just why you love what you do. So. Um, to start off, we took a lot of classes over my three years. Um, some of the classes being stagecraft, where we've um, built sets for year in town, um, lighting and design, learning just um, what the technical terms are. When they see that and you, you figure what, uh, what's out behind the scenes, it's kind of amazing to learn like what goes on behind. Um, I did graphic design with Mr. Davis. Um, I wasn't the best drawer at all. And I like worked towards that and I put some of like just the bad things in there but also the good to show that like I continued to work on it. And I was like, hey, like if I'm gonna put something in my portfolio, it has to be like my best work and it has to show that like I tried something and I worked hard so that. Um, something that um, also I learned when doing like graphic design was that stop comparing yourself to like other people's work. Of course it's not like gonna be amazing right away, but because of your hard work and because you wanna try and put yourself out there, that's what the teachers love to see. And so um, seeing all the different types of like, you know, shading or graphic design, all these new technical terms, that's like things that you should keep in your arsenal because when theater teachers hear that, like they think you're really smart and they like, they love to hear that people who are on stage also know what, what goes um, behind the scenes. Hi, my name is Elijah Adams. I'm an acting senior. And my name is Rory James Leach. I'm also an acting senior. So, and we're here to teach you guys some tips about your monologue. So first, you want to make sure your monologue is a complete story, well-rounded, a beginning, middle, and an end. You also want to make sure that you're being yourself and you're playing within your age range. You don't want to be playing a 50-year-old woman. You want to be playing a teenager, someone who you can relate to their life experience. And to finish off, you want to make sure you have like a good, solid end button so the auditors know that you are done. Go kill it. You're going to be amazing. Hey guys, I'm Allie. I'm Sophie. And we're gonna tell you what to wear and what not to wear to your audition. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you are ready to move at all times. So I recommend leggings or some type of stretchy clothing that you feel comfortable in and you're ready to do whatever they throw at you. Yes, because acting is a very movement oriented art. So, here's what not to wear. Something like I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing open-toed shoes, and though this is very stretchy, she I might not feel as comfortable as in leggings and a t-shirt. When you're doing your pieces, make sure not to look directly into the eyes of the auditors. Instead, find a focal point just above their head. Be creative, be confident, and have fun. For your audition, make sure to wear comfortable clothes that you can move around in. Try to stick to solid colors because sometimes big patterns, prints, and words on your clothing can be distracting. You'll begin your audition with a brief musical theater dance call, but don't worry. We're not looking for perfectly polished dancers. What we are looking for is your spirit of play, your willingness to try your best, that you're having fun, and your storytelling. We encourage you to sing songs from a published musical that you love singing and that best show off your talents. Remember that we are looking for fantastic storytelling. Be sure to prepare your whole song and know that you might get cut off. Now on to the song portion of the audition. Oh dear! No need to fret, Maddie. For the musical portion of your audition, all you have to do is provide your own musical theater song from a published musical. For this, you should provide your own sheet music. Sheet music? What? Chloe! It's okay, Maddie. As long as your sheet music is impeccable, meaning that it is a it is double-sided in a three-ring binder and has your cuts clearly marked, everything will be okay. So I can cut my music? Of course! As long as you clearly mark your start and end brackets and let your accompanist know, everything will be just fine. All right, Chloe. Thank you. You're welcome, Maddie. Practice with the pianist prior to the audition so that you can tell the pianist where to start and where to end, and how fast to play the music. Hello, I will be singing Breathe from In the Heights, and I'll be starting right here and ending right here, and it goes like, When I was a child, I stayed wide awake. Okay. 
We encourage you to perform selections that are similar to the gender that you identify as, your age, and your life experiences. If you decide to transpose sheet music using an online sheet music service such as musicnotes.com, make sure that the sheet music doesn't have unnecessary or extraneous ledger lines. Please do not choose a song that's outside of your vocal range. Do not choreograph your songs. Utilize long musical intros. Do not have your sheet music staple outside of a binder or loose. Do not use the auditors as your scene partners. And, and do, do not, not use, use an accent. accent. Not sure where to start, just ask your local theater teacher at the school you're attending right now. And don't forget, practice, practice, practice. Practice in front of your teacher, practice in front of your family, and practice in front of your friends because that will make you feel so much more prepared for your HSPBA audition. Some recommended books for you to check out are Audition by Michael Shartlett, Acting Songs by David Brunetti, and The Enraged Accompanist Guide to the Prep Audition by Andrew Garrow.